everyone, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos. Uh, once again, I have a little disclaimer for the start of the video. Uh, you might hear a little bit of rattling in the background. Uh, if you do, it's my window. I have really rattly windows in my office, unfortunately, and it's quite windy today, but it's also really freaking hot, so I can't like have my window closed uh, without feeling like I'm in a... 10,000 degree sauna sweating my ass off and possibly passing out mid commentary so yeah I thought um I thought the rattling might be a better option so hopefully that's okay really sorry in advance if uh it's annoying but it's one of those things that I have to do well I mean it's one of those sounds that I have to ignore while I'm creating content in the summertime because holy shit <laughs> I forgot how hot this room gets. Anyway, um, we're obviously doing something very different today. I say we're doing something very different, but we're not really. We're still decorating, which is uh, what my channel is pretty much all about. But obviously it's different because we're decorating in The Sims 4. I have not done this in a very, very long time. I'm pretty sure the last time I decorated in The Sims 4 was back in 2019. So yeah it's it's been a really long time <laughs> but i was just really feeling the urge to play with build mode in the sims 4 again because i know there's been a lot of updates to build mode in the sims 4 since i last dabbled with it mostly platforms to be completely honest with you it was the platforms that made me want to decorate in the sims 4 again so yeah i decided i would uh do a stream on twitch where I was just sort of dabbling in build mode, I was going to decorate an apartment, I was going to use platforms, and yeah, I figured why not go ahead and record it, post it on YouTube for those of you who are interested in also seeing The Sims 4, which I'm very aware is probably not going to be everybody, okay? I am a little bit nervous to post this video. I've mentioned this multiple times in the past, but back on my original YouTube channel, I built my channel up being a Sims 3 channel because that was the game that I was obsessed with at the time. But then I like slowly started introducing the Sims 4 content because I became a little more interested in the Sims 4 and wanted to share content in the Sims 4. Uh, but when I started uploading Sims 4 videos on my channel, I got some very, very angry comments. So yeah, I've posted Sims 4 videos here before. I did start a legacy challenge that we're not even going to talk about. <laughs> We're not going to talk about either of my LPs today, okay? Let's just listen. They'll come back when they come back, all right? Let's listen. It's fine. This is a very normal thing for Chelsea, okay? Anyway, um, I have posted some Sims 4 videos before. I posted a Sims 4 Legacy Challenge and nobody got angry at me. So I just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm still holding on to everybody's going to get angry at me for posting the Sims 4. I guess... Those kids, back when I was Kiwi Simming and I started posting Sims 4 content, they fucking did some damage, okay? <laughs> they did some damage. They made me feel like um, I will never be able to post Sims 4 content without, you know, people being upset with me about it. Uh, which, I mean, is interesting because I also completely ditched The Sims 3 for a long time and like still managed to build my channel up to 50,000 subscribers primarily with The Sims 4 towards the end I don't know I just like I have this stuck in my head you know you know when you have a bad experience with something and it just like sticks with you and every time you like go to do a similar thing that you did back then it's ugh, it just comes up so yeah am I nervous to post this absolutely do I think my audience nowadays would get pissy with me for uploading The Sims 4 no I actually don't think you would and I have mentioned this in like past commentaries or like past videos and stuff I don't think my audience I feel like I have a much more mature audience now than I did back then okay when I was Kiwi Simming and just posting the Sims 3 videos I had a lot of young viewers you know like between the ages of 13 and 17 I think the majority of my viewers were but like the majority of my viewers now are between the ages of like 18 and 20 something I don't remember what the actual like thingy my bobby is but like i have a much older audience now i have a much more mature audience now i'm not gonna get kids yelling at me i need to get that out of my head if you could just take a moment to leave a comment in the comment section down below and say hey we literally don't care what you post so long as you're happy 
like just please give me some reassurance because oh boy I am a little anxious <laughs> But anyway, I had so much fun decorating this apartment, honestly, and if y'all all allow it, of course, um, shy emoji, like the finger pointing emoji and the puppy dog emoji, uh, if y'all allow it, I would like to share some more Sims 4, like, builds and stuff, because there are a lot of really nice objects in The Sims 4 now. Um, I stopped playing The Sims 4 back in, like, or I stopped decorating in The Sims 4 back in, like... I don't know, I want to say March, like early 2019, I'm pretty sure is the last time I, you know, actively made Sims 4 decorating videos. So obviously a lot of packs have come out since then. And I am honestly really impressed <laughs> with uh, the amount of content or like the amount of build by stuff that I'm just absolutely obsessed with in The Sims 4. So yeah, I would really, really love to play some more in The Sims 4. Obviously, The Sims 3 is not going to go anywhere, okay? I still absolutely adore that game. I, you know, have so many builds that I want to do. I literally want to... If I had the energy to, after recording this commentary, I would open up The Sims 3 and, like, start another family home of some sort because that's how much I like The Sims 3. Like, I still really want to build and decorate in The Sims 3. I just would also quite like to dabble in The Sims 4 too, <laughs> if that's okay. I don't know if I'll do like actual house builds though because I I don't know I feel like I was never that good at house builds in The Sims 4. My landscaping always sucked. Uh, I had a tendency to compare my builds particularly in The Sims 4 to other creators builds so like you know I'd do my build I'd be feeling really good about it and then like I'd go and watch YouTube videos of other people doing builds and stuff and then like I would see how incredibly they did all of their landscaping, how incredibly they did all of their interiors and stuff like that. And then I'd go and look at mine and I'd be like, oh, this is actually not that great. <laughs> I was always very critical of my actual houses in The Sims 4. So I don't know if I would like go back to building actual houses, but I would like to do a little apartment renovation here and there. Maybe one day when I'm feeling confident, I will attempt to build an actual house in The Sims 4 because, again, I would love to play with the platforms some more. I think the platforms are really freaking cool in The Sims 4. In fact, in this apartment, I have like three different levels. <laughs> Just because I was having so much fun um, with the platforms. So obviously the kitchen and dining is on the like base floor. Of the apartment and then there's the living area which we're working on now this actually completely changes because um i end up adding a third platform or rather a second platform a third level uh for the bedroom we're literally about to do it here i don't know it, i just had a lot of fun <laughs> i think platforms are really cool i also put a platform uh in the bathroom like for the bathroom and yeah, I don't know. I would love to dabble in different apartments and stuff like that with platforms because I never decorated many of the apartments in this game or okay, maybe not never. I just like avoided decorating certain apartments in The Sims 4 because of the wall height. But I don't know. Platforms are kind of like a nice little workaround for the... um for the like really tall walls. I hate tall walls. <laughs> I hate them in The Sims. I hate them in real life. I just, I really don't like high ceilings and like really tall walls. I think they just look horrible and I don't know how to like decorate them and make them look somewhat decent. So yeah, there were certain apartments that I sort of refused to build in. Uh, because of the wall height but I mean now that platforms are a thing I mean I know they've been a thing for a while okay you're probably all listening to me talk about platforms acting like they're this brand new feature but they've been here for a really long time <laughs> I haven't decorated in The Sims 4 in years okay give me a break um yeah now that platforms are a thing maybe I could like go back and revisit some of those apartments that I sort of avoided because of the wall height because obviously if I have platforms then the walls are not going to seem as like scarily tall. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Just moral of the story. I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, 
that wasn't a story. I'm just okay. My okay. My window is rattling. I'm so sorry. That's really annoying. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was no story. I just uh, wanted to take it back to I really freaking enjoy building in The Sims 4 or decorating in The Sims 4. And yeah, I would love to do some more of it. So if you have any like apartment themes that you'd like to see, be sure to let me know. Um, maybe I'll attempt a Simsy Shell challenge someday. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll like slowly get myself back to a point where I feel somewhat confident building in The Sims 4. I don't know. I don't want to like say I'm gonna do anything like right now there's also birds chirping I'm sorry if you can hear that it's like 6 22 in the evening so the sun is like starting to go down kind of um it's evening there's birds yada 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 I actually like this time of day I think it sounds really pretty I think birds sound really pretty but they might not be that pretty um while I'm in the middle of recording a video but it's fine we deal with it um, but yeah, this actually took me two hours to do, <laughs> which I think is the longest amount of time I've ever spent on this particular apartment because I used to decorate this apartment a lot, um, back on my old YouTube channel because it was just one that I felt comfortable with. It's like, I didn't really have a problem with the wall height, although these are like, they're not the really tall walls, but they're not the standard walls, are they? They're like the in-between type level I don't really know what I'm saying um yeah so like even though this apartment did have those walls they like it was always one that I felt comfortable decorating so I decorated this a lot back in the day and I figured since like this was an apartment that I was comfortable decorating I'd go ahead and like revisit it for my first build in The Sims 4 in like two years <laughs> And I'm really glad that I did. I think I, I think I did a good job of it. I don't know. The theme that I was sort of going for was like pinks and greens because my favorite colors at the moment are pink and sage green. I used to be a really, really big pink enthusiast. Like I was super, super obsessed with the color pink. Um, but like I'm becoming slightly less obsessed with the color pink and like a little more obsessed with sage green uh I don't know I don't know if this is just like part of me aging or whatever but um yeah no I've become quite fond of sage green and pink and sage green just so happen to look really nice together so I wanted to like do an apartment that has like both of my favorite colors in you know what I mean so as you can see the walls are like this nice light pinkish color there's lots of sage green going on there's lots of plants obviously because um I love plants I guess you could consider this a dream apartment kind of that wasn't really the idea when I started decorating this but like I don't know it has all of the colors that I love um this style of apartment I really love like dark woods and everything like that yeah, I, I guess this could be a dream apartment without me intending it to be a dream apartment. I don't know. I would live here. <laughs> I would 100% live here. Did I just say 100? I would 100% live here. I mean, look at the freaking, look at the archway into the bedroom. I think that is like, that archway, by the way, I'm pretty sure is the most gorgeous thing in this entire game. <laughs> I am so freaking obsessed with it. Uh, when I first saw it, looking through the category for the first time in years, I'm going to keep saying that, by the way, just to like really accentuate that it's been a long freaking time since I've sat in build mode. Um, but yeah, when I saw that archway, I was like, I need to use this. This is absolutely fucking gorgeous. I'm literally obsessed. Did something just knock on my window or was that just the rattling? I think that was just the wind. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> uh, I don't know like <clears throat> I'm kind of nervous for this commentary because I'm nervous to post this video so yeah if this commentary is a little bit all over the place please forgive me um it's nerves <laughs> it's nerves um I was talking about the archway and how obsessed I am with it but I don't really need to elaborate on that much more than I already have because um, it's an archway that I just so happen to be obsessed with hope you like it <laughs> Um, but I did use a couple of kits in this apartment. I don't know how many. Actually, I don't want to say I used a couple of kits. I'm just going to tell you 
that I own a couple of kits. <laughs> um, because I don't know what I used from like what pack or what kit or anything like that. So I do have a couple of kits. I have the plants one. I have another one. <laughs> I think I have the kitchen one. I don't know. I think I have all of the like build related, um, kits, but I don't have any like build by kits. I don't have the vacuum kit just because I think kits are like, I don't know. I don't really like the kits all that much, but did I spend my money on them anyway? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So yeah, um, if you don't own any of the kits and you put this in your game and there's some things missing, I do apologize. But um, yeah, I didn't use any custom content. I never use custom content when I do builds in The Sims 4. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I go so custom content heavy in The Sims 3, but I don't go custom content heavy at all in The Sims 4. In fact, I don't touch custom content in The Sims 4 when it comes to my builds and stuff. I don't know why I'm like that, but I have always been like that and my voice is literally leaving. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I've always been like that. I don't know what the reason is, but um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll dabble a little bit in custom content in The Sims 4. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what my reasoning for using custom content in my Sims 3 builds and not my Sims 4 builds is. I, I actually can't explain that to you. Um, but yeah, we are just about to work on the bathroom now. Oh my God, how have I not mentioned Christmas? This entire commentary. Oh my God. I, <laughs> I haven't like spoken to you since Christmas. So let me just super quickly before the video ends, wish you a belated Merry Christmas slash happy holidays. If um, you don't celebrate Christmas, but celebrate something else or don't celebrate at all. I hope you've had a lovely time of the year. Uh, I personally had a meh Christmas, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <clears throat> presents wise, I am very pleased with my Christmas. I got a selenite lamp. I don't know if I mentioned that I was getting one of those uh, in the past, but I got a selenite lamp. I got some crystals. I got some really nice silky pajamas that I'm currently wearing um, that oh, I'm so obsessed with them. They're so comfy. <laughs> Uh, they're from the brand Peter Alexander, if anybody out there knows that brand. I think it's an Australian brand. But yeah, I I got pajamas from them and yeah, just like little bits and pieces, like some, I got some makeup from an auntie. I got uh, some incense from my Nana, just other little things here and there. I got some chocolate. There's a motorbike. Okay, that's really annoying. Um, but yeah, my Christmas itself was pretty uneventful, to be honest. I sort of just stayed inside and hung out with my Nana while she watched movies because she broke her hip a couple of months ago. So she wasn't able to like actually be outside mingling with everybody. And I didn't want her to be inside on her own on Christmas Day. So I literally took one for the team and I sat inside with her and watched movies with her all day. So... Yeah, that was my Christmas. Uh, my whole family was over for our yearly barbecue that we do, but I didn't really mingle with them all that much because, yeah, again, my Nana, I wanted to make sure that she wasn't on her own. And also I'm not that good with family events anyway. <laughs> I hate talking about what I do. Um, and I'm asked every single time there's a family event. Uh, someone will either, they'll either ask me what I do or they'll like, you know, try to make conversation about what I do, despite the fact that they don't even understand what I do. <sighs> I just, I don't like talking about what I do for a living, <laughs> which for those of you who don't know, obviously is, um, Twitch mostly, uh, YouTube a little bit now. Um, but yeah, my job is pretty much Twitch and it's really hard explaining uh, that you stream video games to people who are old. <laughs> Not to be rude, but like, it kind of is. Uh, but anyway, we are pretty much finished with the apartment. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into some screenshots and wrap my commentary up right here. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up for me. This will be up on the gallery. However, it's not under Chelsea because I haven't changed my origin name. Um, it'll be under Kawisi. I'll put that in the description because it's spelled kind of weird but that should probably update soon <laughs> hopefully 
Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. Thank you for giving my Sims 4 content a try. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap my commentary up right here. So mm -hmm, what's my outro? I don't know. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.